Pam McElvog, Regional Industrial Officer for Unite the Union with responsibilities for Glasgow Airport Limited. This is a short video message update to supplement the continuous meetings that we've had with our members during the strike action uh, to give them an update on the employer, employer's latest offer and uh, uh, tell them the next steps in the dispute. The first item that I need to address is that the, in, the, the employer uh, has sent our members an individual inducement uh, slip to their house asking them to return that. That slip has bypassed the collective bargaining mechanisms and it has been an individual inducement offer direct to the individual. We are instructing our members to return those slips and the reasons we're telling them to return those slips is to protect their individual legal position if indeed the employer moved forward and carried out the threat to remove the compensation for the, their closing of the defined benefit scheme. This does not in any way diminish the dispute on pensions. Indeed, the union, your reps and our membership have demonstrated that they are committed to move forward with the dispute to try and find a remedy on both pay and pensions. So we'd instruct for members to return that to protect their individual positions. Next item I would like to give members an update on is that we had ACAS talks on the 19th of June, which were hugely frustrating, that led uh, to, to those talks closing around about 8pm that evening. There was a commitment uh, from both sides that we would meet face to face on the 20th at Glasgow Airport and without the services of ACAS, and that indeed did uh, take place. Uh, from those discussions on the 20th, an offer was tabled that was hugely similar to an offer that was tabled in Aberdeen, but not uh, not quite the same and indeed could be of less value than what was tabled in Aberdeen because of the second year element of it. We informed the employer that the offer of which they had tabled had been a change but we did not feel that it would be in, is currently in an acceptable form. The employer set a strict conditionality on that offer of which Unite, the representative committee, could not agree upon. That conditionality stopped a consultative ballot on it. We offered to consultatively ballot on the offer the employer made we offered to suspend action during the consultative ballot, but we could not meet the conditionality around the terms that the employer imposed. On that basis, the employer issued the formal offer to us on the Thursday evening. The strike action uh, took place on Friday and we gave members a direct update on that. We are now moving forward to avail the offer that the employer uh, sent last week and to ask our members their views on it. United Union is about work, voice and pay in the workplace. This is your members' opportunity to understand the offer which the employer tabled, the threats that are within that offer and for your members to give their view upon that offer. The process of which we are doing that is an indicative vote that will be carried out from today the 27th, Tuesday the 27th, until Thursday the 29th. That is the opportunity for our members to express directly to Unite, to have their say, to have their voice on the employer's offer. The employer's offer is encapsulated completely in that indicative ballot voting forum. And the recommendation from your representative committee is for rejection. Aberdeen, who did meet the conditionality of the employer's offer, consultatively balloted upon it and indeed have rejected that offer. That is the position where we currently stand. We continue, we continue 
to call on Glasgow Airport and more importantly the board of EGS to see sense here get back round the negotiating table stop wasting money energy and time on flawed contingency processes which are costing more which are costing more financially than it will to resolve this dispute please see sense AGS board and give the scope to the management teams that are negotiating on your behalf to find a remedy. We ask for further talks on the offer because we do not believe that the offer will be accepted. We do not believe that it will resolve this dispute. And we need to get round the table and have that reviewed. We will keep members updated uh, on this dispute, but I would like to give thanks to our membership who have been stalwarts in their attendance at the picket line, at the rallies, they support the solidarity. The absolute passion has been completely humbling. Unite grows in Glasgow Airport, it is strong in Glasgow Airport and continues to grow. And that's down to your members and I need to lay thanks to your Workplace Representative Committee who have led the line on behalf of members and have been truly representative and that will continue. And I also need to give thanks to messages of support that we've had from across the globe, from Indonesia, from Canada, from America and from the UK and the financial support that's been given to members for the Glasgow Airport Combine Branch. We thank brothers and sisters for continued support and we thank the Scottish Secretary Pat Rafferty for the support of the union of which he has given to members at Glasgow Airport. We will keep members informed of the developments and we ask you to use your vote, have your voice, have your say and send a message to your representative committee on how you want to move forward in this dispute. Thanks very much.